So we're going to talk about my Trade Zero platform today. Trade Zero is a broker based out of the Bahamas, and they are known for one of those brokers that allow you to short almost anything. So if you like to play a lot of these low float small caps, they often have the shorts available to borrow and they take clients out of United States, Canada, and a lot of international countries as well. So we'll be going over my entire Zero Pro platform, layout settings, chart settings, indicators, hot keys, and how to borrow and locate stocks to short. So let's go over the chart layout first. Um, so by default, you have all the time intervals up here. One minute for the chart CODX, five minutes, um, 15 minutes, 60 minutes, etc., etc. So I usually like to have my intraday chart here. I usually use a one minute or three minutes, and then I have the daily chart here. And you can link all the windows together by clicking this little icon here, A, B, C, D, E, and you have very similar features on think or swim so let's go over the indicators so by default we have vwap that's the default they have if you want to add more click indicator up here go to general um let's say i don't use a lot of indicators but let's try out some emas so once you have the indicator you can double click it on there to adjust the settings so this is a moving average exponential so let's say if we want to use a 13 and you have want to change the color to um let's keep it at blue but you can change the line style and the line weight so let's say if you want you can see on the preview here if i want the indicator to be you know dashed I can have that here and you can close to save, but I'm going to change my VWAP. So let's say I want my VWAP to be yellow. So that's how you change that. And uh, I'll keep it solid and uh, the weight I'll keep it fine for. So make it a lot thicker if you want, if that's easier to see for you. So very easy. And then if you want to get rid of the indicators, you just click on the chart, the indicator here and delete. And that's it. So by default, you have the previous day close line up here, this dashed yellow line. You can change the color if you go in and double click it to change it if you want. But I like to keep it at the default. Okay, so, you know, we can also draw trend lines up here. So let's say if I want to draw a horizontal line, I just click draw horizontal and I can draw a line up here. You can see drew a line at 1885. If I want, I can move the line higher or lower if I want to. And also, if you want to change the background color of the chart, just right click and go to profile. Let's say, you know, black is too hard to see, then maybe I can try something like white, which ooh, actually hurts my eye. But some people prefer to trade like this. Um, so you can change all these different colors here. I'm going to keep mine at black for now. Okay, next, let's go to level two, um, which is this window right here. By default, trade zero level two has uh, level two and time and sales in the same window. You can change that if you want. So if you want to change that, what you can do is go to um, settings up here, click this, get rid of time and sales if you don't want to see it. Now, uh, we also, I usually use the montage level two for order entry as well. I keep level one on. Um, you can turn that off if you want but we're gonna keep that at default so over here is where you can change your color gradient on the level two the classic is the you know very colorful you know color blocks that I have right now if you want to use a new zero pro you can try this and get this kind of color and what I like to do is to change the size of the font on my default level two so two eight, by default is eight and it's really hard to see so I usually like to go with ten so if you click apply you see the changes right here. You can see our, you know, and then OK. You see everything is updated now. So let's bring back our time and sales window again. So go over here and click time and sales. So first of all, we want to link it to the same montage window we were using. So link a so let's say we want to look at CODX and you have it right here. So let's right click and adjust the settings. Um, we are going to get rid of, I usually just need the price, the size and the exchange. So I usually get rid of everything else. So that's usually all I need. 
and then I'll put that beside my level two window. So let's talk about order entry on the level two window right now. So usually I use limit order. It's very rare that I use any market order. And uh, you know, quantity, you can adjust it here. Let's say if I wanna buy 500 shares of CODX, or you can also change the quantity with your right and left key on your um, on your keyboard so if i go right then it's increasing by 100 left decreasing by 100 now for the price i can either select the price on level two so that automatically loads the bid price or i can press the up and down key to adjust the price by each cent if i want to so that's pretty convenient now this is a live account so i'm not gonna click any button here but it's pretty straightforward so if i want to buy then it's buy sell to sell something with trade zero is that the shorts and the sales are short and sell the long positions two different buttons so that's a little bit annoying and uh, for the buy and the buy to cover buttons are also separate so make sure you know about that so that's something to keep in mind of you if you're using this platform to trade okay now let's go over the very exciting short list on trade zero which is what everyone is usually excited about so if you click on the short list or you can go up to main and you can click um, over here short list over here then now pop up this window. So let's see if I want to short the stock SRNE. I just click SRNE over here. Enter. It will show you the price of the borrow. So SRNE is right now it's at three cents per share, basically. So if I want to short locate a thousand shares, I click. I put in a thousand and click locate. It'll show you the offer, right? So it's gonna cost me thirty-five dollars and ten cents to short a thousand shares. And if I want to accept it, I click accept. And once you accept this locate and you click accept, it'll show up in your inventory. Then I would have a thousand shares available to short the stock S R N E. So one thing that's kind of unique about Trade Zero is the fact that you can return the borrows that you don't end up using but keep in mind that they are obviously gonna buy it back at a very cheap price so let's say if i you know let's just try it anyways let's try i'm gonna borrow a hundred shares for this demo so if i borrow a hundred shares i'm gonna spend three dollars and 51 cents i accepted it you can see that now it's in my inventory and let's say i decided that i don't want to use it i can go in and see i have a hundred shares available i can credit it back so, but now that you credit it back, you have to see what price they're offering to buy it back. So usually it takes a while actually. Come on, give me some credit. 10 minutes later, you see like they make it easy to borrow their stock, but it takes a while to, you know, give you back any credit you want. Come on, give me back my $3.50. I'm gonna bet you they're only gonna give me like a cent per share. So I'll probably only get back $10. We'll see what happens. So while we wait for the short borrows credit to show up, if there's anything, let's go see the hotkeys for Trade Zero, shall we? Okay, go click on the top menu again. Click hotkeys. They'll bring up the hotkey window. Okay, so these are the current hotkeys I have for this platform. Keep in mind, I only use Trade Zero as a backup short broker. So I have my main broker, which is Centerpoint, where I short almost everything there. But there are times when certain stocks are restricted over there at my main broker that that's why I come back and use Trade Zero. So it's a backup. So that's why all the hotkeys here are basically just shorting and uh, covering, you can see. So let's create a hotkey from scratch right now. So let's say if I want to cre create a buy hotkey, click action over here and uh, it will be set up or send order. It's kind of like annoying, like the way they set it up. Okay, side, let's say I want to buy the stock, route smart shares. Let's say, you know, I want to create hotkey to buy a thousand shares. Limit, I always use limit. Time in force, I use day. Price source, I want to use bid. And uh, this is something you can use if you want offset. So if you use the offset, it will be plus or minus the, the, the bid price. So I usually like to do that just to make sure I get filled. So, and then you can put your hotkey over here up to a combination of two. So for this demo, let's do, you know, 
do control P and then you type in the description buy a thousand shares at bid and you click save and that shows up over here and you can see if you you know take a screenshot you can see all the current hot keys I have I have you know cover a thousand shares at bid cancel last which I have used um, escape if you look, look at this, I have escaped to cancel my last orders, um, liquidate everything. So this is for panic. This is just in case something bad happens. Um, I want to liquidate everything I could if I want to. Knock on wood, I haven't had to do that yet. Um, but just in case, right? Okay, so cancel all orders. So I have um, control um, escape. That's all the pending orders, not just the last order. Also, I have, you know, short a thousand and ask. Over here, I have cover one fourth, co cover half, and uh, this is for when I'm shorting the stock. And then again, I have cover everything panic, right? This is cover 100% of my position, basically stopping out. If I'm getting squeezed, I, I just wanna take any liquidity and get out of the stock. So that's my hot key settings for trade zero. You can see I don't have any hot key settings for buying and selling for going long. That's because I don't use this broker for going long. I only use it as a backup for shorting. Wow, my credit is still not back yet. Okay, this is like taking a while. So this this just goes to show you that this broker isn't perfect. Um, they tell you you can return your shares, but uh, no, no one wants it right now. You know, like I guess I just wasted three dollars and ten cents on this demo. So let's go over the news window over here on Trade Zero. So the news window over here, you can click all the select all the symbols. So let's say you know S R N E right now. You can see that um, the stock is ripping higher on the possible of um, a cure for coronavirus um, right now or you can do a keyword search as well so if i do the search then i'll have all the news for srne that contains the keyword um, fda so that could be pretty useful too and then again you can go to main and then you can pull up the news from this window over here okay so let's look at the top list window now which you can access by clicking main again and then top list over here so um, let's go, they have all the different, I guess, the gappers on the day. If I want to look at NASDAQ percentage change up, I can click the default here. And if I want to show sort by percentage, you can see all the top gainers on the day. And vice versa, you can look at the losers on the day as well. If you click um, top list NASDAQ um, change, percentage change down, you can see the losers on the day. But honestly, I don't use a top list that much. And then one more thing is the watch list. And uh, watch list kind of looks like this over here. So watch list. So I can you know, enter all the stocks I want to watch for the day. APDN, let's say CODX, SRNE. And then usually I just have this, you know, in a corner somewhere besides the top list. So you must be wondering why is Trade Zero my backup broker? So Trade Zero is a pretty decent broker for those who want to short these hard to borrow stocks. But honestly, it's only my backup broker because the platform execution is really not the best. There has been times where I couldn't get filled and where there's a lot of lag. So just keep that in mind if you decide to go with this broker. But this platform still appeals to a lot of people with a smaller account because they have lower account minimums. I think with Trade Zero America, you need only $3,000 to op open an account. And with Trade Zero International, which is who I'm with in Canada here, I think the minimum is $6,000 or $7,000. So in comparison to some other brokers like Cobra, and the center point, they all require you to be above PDT, above the $30,000 mark to open an account with them to borrow those hard to borrow stocks to short. So let me know what you guys think about Trade Zero as a broker and whether you are using it to short a lot of these uh, penny stocks. Thank you guys for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader and I'll see you guys next week. Five hours later.
guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and the bad jokes. If you want to see more day trading content, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more. If you'd like to trade with me daily and get my free weekend watch list and trading journal, make sure to check out the links below for more resources. Stay green, stay positive, and I'll see you guys next time.